the good news would have been, uh, to be very uh, honest, uh, to have these stadiums by December 2013 and not by March 2014. Um, but still, I mean, the good news is that we can work. Uh, it means that you can work not only uh, for all the installation of the technical zones uh, we need for, for the World Cup, uh, because again, what we receive is a stadium and we have to add all what is for World Cup stadium. We can work on the ticketing and make sure that again, all the seating plan uh, is conformed with the um, with all the, the, the printing of the tickets we have and the sales of the ticket we have for this stadium. Um, and it's a good news because it's pushing all the other stadiums to understand that uh, the remaining three, they really have to come. The biggest uh, challenge is to make sure that uh, again, all what we call these temporary facilities, which are subject to a lot of discussion in Brazil, can be uh, in place. Uh, and meaning that, um, as an example, because uh, sometimes you have to be clear for people to understand what we are talking about, uh, uh, outside of the stadium of Porto Alegre, there is uh, no pavement. Uh, I mean, we cannot put in place all the TV compound, all the hospitality compound, all these different zones. Uh, without any pavement. So the pavement is not just uh, as you are used to for your home. I don't know, 200 square meters. We are talking about 140,000 square meters. Uh, and 140,000 square meters takes at least two to three months. Uh, and we are three months away from the opening of the World Cup. And it's a race which is not just FIFA uh, being in a race. It's the local organizing committee, the government, uh, and the host cities uh, which have still to run and to race in order to have their stadiums and their facilities and their infrastructure in the cities ready to welcome the world for this World Cup. The World Cup was used as a platform by organizations, by cities, by FIFA, by local organizations in order to promote, to promote uh, education, to promote work for people who have, been, uh, who have been looking for work for a job for years. It's not just about what FIFA is doing, but all what the cities have done in their different cities will benefit for the people who are living in the cities, which has always been the case. And finally, there will be a legacy as it was the case in Germany in 2006, there will be a legacy for the country. The country who has today, I think, around 5 million tourists will have infrastructure and the potential to welcome a lot more tourists and to become a country where the people they want to come. And the World Cup is this first magnet to, 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 to be there. FIFA is not using any public money. FIFA is not using any money from Brazil, except that you would say the commercial partners, the Brazilian commercial partners who have signed a contract with FIFA to, uh, uh, to activate their, their brands uh, on the World Cup. Uh, I mean, what FIFA uh, inject in the country itself is around 800 million US. Uh, the cost of the World Cup for FIFA is 1.3 billion US, uh, because on top of that, we have the price money to the teams and the number of additional costs. Uh, but again, FIFA is not asking for any financial support from the Brazilian authorities. And whatever is spent by the cities, by the government, will remain within the country. It is infrastructure, it is a number of things which will be used by the country and will not be taken away from the country by FIFA when we will fly away from Brazil on the 14th of July after the final. We are working on making sure that behind us, the, 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 the structure of football will have changed. Not only at the highest level with the new stadiums, not only at the highest level with these training pitches we, we have in all the, the different old cities, but also with all these programs where football again is used with mini pitch, is used with its values to educate to change the life of these kids, to bring them out of the streets and to give them a chance to have another life. What I'm looking for is firstly, uh, because that's part of my uh, duty at FIFA, is to deliver the World Cup. 
uh, to deliver the 64 games, uh, to make sure that the 32 teams, they will end up the World Cup by saying it was the greatest World Cup, all was perfect uh, in regards of uh, the training, in regards of the game we have played, in regards of the organization, etc. To make sure that uh, the hundreds of thousands of people will come to Brazil will have their best time in Brazil. Uh, to make sure that uh, all uh, in the stadium will uh, face no problem, that even if there are demonstrations in the street, uh, the World Cup will be organized and the people who have bought a ticket, they will be able to go to the stadium and to enjoy the games. We cannot uh, disappoint uh, all the football lovers, all the fans with this World Cup, which is the biggest football event uh, you have once every four years. And that's my goal. My goal is to make sure that all together, Brazil, FIFA and the local organizing committee will give to this world this diamond.